Hello, hello. Not sure this is working yet. Ah, yes it is. Hello everyone. Um, when I was thinking about what to play, Howard asked me if I could play some Bach to kind of shake things up in the performance this afternoon. And as I was thinking about what to play, I thought how amazing it was that it's been three years since January 1st. And um, we've gone through so much in 2020. And really the, the single movement from all of the, the 36 movements that Bach wrote for solo cello, the single movement that stuck out to me was the prelude to Bach's suite number four in E flat. It is an amazingly huge piece. It's epic in what it asks the cello to do. It's, at times, it's like an organ. And then in the, as the piece starts, it's very ecstatic and happy and it gets more and more lost and then works its way to the furthest it could be from home and then returns. That's pretty much what I'm hoping is going to happen at the end of this year. We'll see. But uh, that's, that's what I'd like to start with. And then uh, to round out, I'll finish with the Sarabande which is a beautiful slow movement. Um, and I'll do a little, little, uh, few additions improv in the repeats. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, I'll talk a little bit about the Sarban more before I play it. Thank you. 
for so many different works and um, kind of like 2020 he could not hold on a steady job and that's part of why we have these pieces he um, had gone through three jobs before the one that situated him in uh, the town of Curtin and in this town he had the leeway to write whatever he wanted for the first time before this he'd always had to write something for churches uh, when uh, he was in Leipzig he had to write a cantata every week for the church service, um, which is kind of incredible considering how long they were, um, while at the same time maintaining all of the boys at the boys' school. He had to get them up at five and run the choir. So this was the first time he really had a chance to do whatever he wanted, and he wrote a lot of works for solo instrument. He wrote the six sonatas and partitas for solo violin and these six suites. Um, and I like to think the most important thing to Bach was improvisation and feeling uh, the way he improvised, the way he heard music was separate melodic lines that sounded good together. It's uh, said, it's been written that he could improvise an eight voice fugue, which is kind of astounding because most people can't even write a fugue without improvising. Um, so this Saraband is a wonderful expression. Um, it has a lot of empty space that um, I think gives the performer a chance to improvise. Um, the last thing I'd like to say is um, 2020 has been horrible for musicians and thank you to uh, the Experimental Sound Studio for putting on this concert. Um, there's, if you want to hear more music, uh, my wife and I started a concert series as well online called Open Space Music. And uh, we're putting on a, a show after this is over. It's uh, through Zoom. I'll put the website up in case you're interested. We're doing a show almost every weekend this fall. So thank you.
Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.